Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we've got exciting things going on with the dually. Um, today we are doing, well we're at least starting, the front end conversion on it. We're going to uh, full sport front end. Actually, I'm going to make the entire truck a sport clone, um, but we're going to start with doing the front end. I've got the grill already, I've got the bumper, but we need to sand down the bumper and paint it because it's the wrong color. Um, so that'll be fun, show you all of that. And uh, all right, we're going to get started. I got the hood popped. Here, I'll pop the hood and show you guys in case you forgot what underneath looks like. Oh man, look at all that horsepower. All right, so we're going to get started. Dirty under there. All right, we got the grill sitting up there. Not bolted in yet, but already looks a lot better. All right, we got the whole thing bolted on. Looks so much better. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, I think we're just gonna pull this bumper off. That way we can shut the hood properly and um, we'll get started sanding on the blue one. All right guys, little update. We got the bumper off. I got the grill fully bolted on here. And it looks pretty, pretty freaking snazzy. Um, so I had to do a little bit of ghetto rigging, of course, nothing ever goes easy. Um, well, maybe this will help some of you guys doing this front end conversion. Um, I. I pretty sure that the the safety hood release for the sport and the slt is different so i have this slt one i don't have the sport one so um it's not long enough so you can't once you pop your hood you can't just stick your fingers under and and um bring up the safety latch so uh let me show you what i had to do just for the time being until i can locate one of those but Pop our hood here. And I just got this little piece of wire hanging right here. You're just gonna pull that. And that is your safety release. Very, very simple and it works perfect. And you don't have to get, not, you don't have to not use your safety release because these second gen Dodge hoods love to fly up on you, so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on sanding and prepping and primering the uh, sport bumper, which I haven't even showed you guys yet. So let me uh, let me throw it up on some stands and get it out here and uh, 
I will show that to you guys. All right, got the bumper up here on the stands. Picked up this bumper for 50 bucks, so it's not perfect. As you can see, we've got a little, a little oopsie there. We're hopefully gonna be able to fix that. Um, and a little something right here. So we're gonna sand it down and throw some color on it and just gonna do a quick and dirty little spray and see what happens with it. All right, guys, back out here, day two. Uh, I've got the bumper sanded down. Uh, I've got the primer laid on it. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a, probably about 10, 15 minutes to dry. Won't take long in the sun. It's about, it's about 98 degrees right now. Um, couldn't get all the imperfe imperfections out, but I don't really, I don't really care. I just want it to be the same color. But it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna spray the, color on it in about five ten minutes and we'll see how it comes out I'm excited All right, here she is all painted up. Uh, I went ahead and uh, just quickly wet sanded the fog lights and threw a little clear coat on them and they look a whole lot better than they did. Not perfect, but they'll definitely do. So I know it's not perfect and the color is not gonna be exactly dead on, um, but you know, I paid 50 bucks for the bumper. I think I've got maybe $30 in paint and clear coat and primer. Um, in about maybe two hours of two hours of work sanding and painting and whatnot but I mean for for less than a hundred dollars factory sport bumper with all the bracketry and fog lights and everything now it's somewhat paint matched I really can't complain it's gonna look it's gonna look great on the truck I mean the the grill's not even the right color it's ps2 uh, paint code so Hopefully this paint will be somewhere in between PS2 and uh, whatever this paint is. I forget what it's called. It's on this bottle over here. RFK. RFK paint code. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and I'll possibly throw it on the truck tonight and uh, and we'll go from there. Don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but um, hopefully we will and I'll pick the camera back up again and we will uh, we'll get that recorded for you guys. Thanks. All right, it is finally done. The sport conversion front end on the 99 Ram 3500. Slightly different color, but that's okay for now. Looks pretty good to me.